um, Jamal has returned to Baltimore. Um, Graylin has um, sent him about his way. Um, this is victim 132, right? So you are two tattoos away. You're a month in a relationship. And you're already, you, you said, first off, you was living with your grandma. You was a manager at Chick-fil-A, right? You had it going on. You ain't had a best living situation, but you had your grandma. Okay, boom. So you say fuck grandma and you go move with this bum, with this with Uncle Jeff, right? You done moved to LA, you done got on this five hour flight, moved to LA, got tatted up, stamped, all that, right? The, this nigga done slutted you out, made 30000 and then moved into an apartment. The, the third day he moved in an apartment, he buying you a flight back home. So, we got to like Braylon used Jamal uh, for content to make his coin and he knew that he didn't like her? Or do y'all feel like he really liked her and he got his ass beat on that live? And then he was like, boom, bitch, I can't I, be with no nigga that's gonna be my ass. Molly, beat that bitch! Molly, beat that bitch! Beat that bitch, Molly! Stop playing with him! Beat that bitch! Beat that bitch, Molly! Stop playing with him! Molly, Molly, beat that bitch! Turn around! Don't worry about it! Beat that bitch! Molly, beat that bitch! Beat that bitch, Molly! Stop playing with him! Beat that bitch! Now you good is done. You got your thirty. I think that's exactly what it was. Cause Mandy warned us. He was like, um, um, Jamal is crazy. He said Jamal was chasing him with nice knives, doing battery acid on him, bleaching clothes. And I warned Graylin, I said, Graylin, Jamal is from Baltimore. He's not about you're not about to do him like you did the rest of these boys. I told him and I think I definitely think that was the pivot to start about the camel's bag that when they were on live and Ma actually stuck with him and was fighting back. Even when he was begging, saying in the counter and all this stuff. Um, I think it really would have that really messed with his ego because Grayley is a dominant man. He's an alpha yeah. man. So you see your partner, I guess, disrespect you in that way. Especially, I feel like the same thing. Really. Grayley is a nice guy. He moved Jamal in his place. He already said Jamal didn't have to pay no bills. Jamal didn't have to do, you know, work and stuff. So at least Jamal, this man moved you from the slums of, um, to, of Baltimore right. and to a high rise in Los Angeles. You had the Hollywood right. sign in your backyard. You was in five, eating five star meals. You wasn't clocking in, making um, chick, um, making chicken wraps every day. So I feel like the least you could have did was respect him and uplift him and, you know, work your, you didn't work your set. It's going to tell him what connection you could have made from that, what you could have gotten from that. So I feel like, Raymond's still good. Raymond's that new house, new nigga, new bitch. Um, and I feel I'm just such a piece for them both. I care about both of them deeply. Me and Graylin are, have a grown relationship. I've known Jamal for years. So I just wish them both the best. I just hope Jamal isn't like damaged goods. I hope this isn't something that just traumatized him because now like you on Twitter busting nuts. So you're always gonna be associated with that. You're always gonna be associated with being a domestic abuse. So it's stuff that's gonna follow you for you know, the rest the rest of your life, big old career, possibly your life. Did you got any? Um, so from what I've heard, I really don't know a lot about the situation. From what I do know, I heard he left his grandmother. I think that's so wrong. You should have never left. You gotta do your research. Um, I also feel as if if he, I think you should stop trying to say that Graylin is a good person just because he did these things. Yes, he did these things for him, but not because he's genuine or because he really loves him or because he like just wants to take him elevate his lifestyle he did that shit to harm him he did he still wants to manipulate him People, older men bring up younger men so that they can tell them what to do yeah they're paying your bills but they feel like they can tell you what to do they feel like they can control you they feel like they can put your hands they on you and right. i think yeah they have that right finish go ahead Oh my god. Okay, and so I also feel as if I, I don't know. Let me put that. That's it. That's all. You know what what you're saying essentially though is that you don't know much about the situation. Is that correct? You haven't I don't know about the situation, but I think it's a demo. I I've seen the last right. but I do feel like as if that him putting his hands on did play a part in why he maybe got kicked out so so maybe he could have lasted. They fought each other though. This was a full on brawl between both of them. But he didn't want to fight. I remember, I remember a video where he didn't want to fight him. He told him he didn't want to fight him. Oh, okay. But you know what though? I'm right there with you. I don't follow the story heavy like that. I'm aware of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I done seen different clips here and there. I know who Graylin is. Uh, you know, I know that he dated Ace. I know that Jamal came in for a short period of time. 
But, um, you know, as far as, you know, Christian people are as individuals, I didn't know that Jamal was from, what'd you say, Baltimore or Detroit? Baltimore, bitch, don't be pr I'm from Detroit. Baltimore. <laughs> I just, wherever he's from, right? I didn't know that he was from that part of the country. And then Grayley is this West Coast guy, right? Yeah. Like, he's from, Grayley's from Baltimore, too. He is. Oh, okay. Born and raised. Yeah. He's open about that. So, well, for them to be so incompatible and to be so chaotic with each other, uh, it blows my mind. Here's what I will say, though. Graylin does seem like somebody who, if you treat him right, he's going to treat you right. He does seem like somebody who desires a relationship and a commitment. But according to what people are saying, his, his choice in guys seems to be so opposite of the truth. Right? So for him to be, he's 40. Graylin is 40, right? What? 41. Yeah. Still be enticed by how old are those guys? Like in their 20, early 20s? 20, 21. You're not you're not even the same person. Like you're not even the same guy. You're not like you guys are different. You got like like you're dealing with somebody who is an opposite of you, right? And if that's what you want, you gotta be patient with it. So let's say Jamal did put his hands on Grayland. Grayland should have expected that. That's a young punk who out here all over the place and he needs to be tamed. If you want to tame him, you better be patient and take your time and tame him. If that's what you want, if, if that's what you want, because that's what you got, take your time. Tame him. But see, for Grady to sit up there and keep going back the board, because I think Ace, I think the Ace was more compatible than him and Jamal. Jamal, wasn't even aesthetically compatible with him. I didn't, I didn't like them together. I liked him better with Ace as opposed to Jamal. Jamal mm -hmm. looked dirty to me. Jamal looked okay. Jamal looked. Okay, okay, Jamal. Okay, Jamal. Okay. So you, you said okay. he looked dirty because of what? He just looked a little rough around the edges. And Ace um. presented, Ace looked more like what I would expect Grayling to have on his side. Is it because he mixed? What does that have to do with Because cause <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how does Jamal look dirty? He doesn't look dirty. Them socks was dirty. Them socks was dirty. Them socks was dirty. Them socks was dirty. So that's what you're referencing, Jamal? Why are you trying to defend somebody? You ain't got no dog in this spot. You ain't got no dog in this spot. I ain't defending him. I'm not defending him. I'm not defending him. Wait, hold on, Hold on, Hold on, Hold on, Hold on, no, Ramona, well, hold on, Ramona, let me give you a little back history. Hold on, kinda, he does, kinda. At one point in time, Jamal, Jamal and Tay were like this. Peanut and butter and jelly, two peas in a pot. Tay was actually Jamal's mother. So, yeah, he does have a dog, even though they might not be as close as they were, because Jamal was feeling, but I'm pretty sure he still has love for him. He still respects him. So, um, he does, and I think he, he has a soft spot for him. But I don't look at Jamal as dirty, but I had a conversation with Graham the other day. We talked for a couple of hours, and basically he was saying to me, um, he was saying that he, he wants someone who want to fuck him, and we all know Jamal is a power bottom. Like, he doesn't, he was like saying, Jamal don't use his dick, he don't want him to suck his dick. And Drake was like, you know, I want somebody to fuck me sometimes. You know, I want to get pounded sometimes. And I don't think Jamal is was able to deliver that aspect. But my thing is, Grayley, you knew that when he was busting splits. When he motherfucking was busting splits on wall, getting fucked. Like, he had his leg in the air, one leg in the air, one leg on the floor, and he was counting him out. So it's like, come on now. Come on now. My th but why he didn't get HTC? <laughs> and why he didn't get Ace a nose guy? That nose was good. What would you buy? I looked at a bill number. <laughs> okay. So Hold this on, brings no, us no, to our last. Uh -huh. No, thank you for revealing that Tay has a dog in that fight, because that's Tay old best friend, and that's why Tay ready to turn up on remotely for saying what uh -uh. he said about my. It is. You got a dog I'm in the fight. Some... Just say that, I really Tay. don't have a. Just I really don't have a dog. dog in the... I don't have a dog in a fight, baby. I don't give a fuck about Jamal, bitch. I don't. All I care about is him making his money. Why you so mad at Grayley? 
I ain't mad at Graylin at all. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about Graylin, but I do feel like Coco want to be where Jamal was just at. I do feel like she do want to. Excuse be, me. Yeah, I definitely feel like you want to be a part of the OnlyFans. I think you want to be so? taken out of your current situation and be put in LA right by the stars and all that. I think you want to go test the old dick out. I think you want it. I think you. Want it. I, think you I think that's. What, I just feel like that. I feel like you want some of that dick. I feel like you want some of that Uncle right. Jeff dick. And there's nothing wrong with that, Coco. Go get some of that dick. Make sure you don't do what Jamal did do. Go. Right. Make sure don't make, get his same, social. Same. make sure you get his social. Make sure you get that motherfucking cancer. Get all of that. If you gonna work, what you gonna do with that? What you gonna do with She better work her set. Work her set. Bitch. So I'm just saying, like, if young bitches be letting these old bitches do y'all, y'all shouldn't be used, bitch. Y'all need to use them, bitch. If they, bitch, if you want me, what you got? Bitch, you done live 20 more years of life than me, bitch. What did you have to offer me? What did you, what? So, know y'all worth. The last topic is Coco topic, and then we're gonna vote on Lavish. Um, You better run Coco panels. You better run Coco panels. Okay, so let's go Okay, so let's go Okay, so let me say this. Um, Lavish is not Lavish. Um, Lavish is not Lavish. I don't want to be in Jamal's position. I don't want to be there, because if I would, if I could, I would. You see the numbers. You see what I got going on over here. I can do it my damn self, and I don't need no niggas to do it for me. Okay, let's be clear, crystal clear. As them glasses Gianni got on, let's look through his glasses, okay? No, that's if right. I wanted to be in the Hollywood stars, I could do very well that. But sec and also, let's not mention, I was offered. The, the, you don't think he was up on my body? You don't think he tried to right. pull me out? I have Kyla V tried to fly me out. I, listen, I'm that girl. Kyla V said you want me to come to Texas and you want to take me out on a date. And I ain't got to fuck. Kyla V. Oh. So, okay, yeah. but listen. But so listen. Let, me let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. I'm going to be a bit bragging about that. What I'm saying to you is I have, me and Graylin, we did have the best start. I got to know him and go to respect him. This is the type of person he is. And I respect him. And I, I see, I see him. Is he the best person? Is he the best person? No. Does he have some issues? Yes, we all do. But do I we have like a car? No. We try to. We try to. You ain't got no car. But he's in L. A. Like on every ride. Like, he can walk outside no. to the Hollywood trip and. It's not that's New York. How I feel. But my thing. But my thing. But my thing is. My thing is also too. My if he's been, if he's paying the bills. And he's calling you, bathing you and stuff. The least you can do is respect the man. If I'm moving with a man and he's taking care of my needs, my bills and everything, he said I don't have to do nothing but get my money. I'm going to wash clothes, scrub floors, cook meals every day. And, and let, if not, I'm going to get my ass out there and work and say, here's something on the rent, here's something on the light bill. Y'all be wanting to treat treatment, about. but I want to play y'all position. I want to make sure he's, he's, he's going to get, he's gonna get head at the right at the in the morning night noon whenever and that's just how oh, i feel you, but you said that monday and we've already established that you're a domestic type of bitch sisters begin to for ourselves though so a lot of us ain't staying at home like we are here in these streets but we, we still you still get it to yourself and be at home you can still get it yourself and be at home but see okay y'all we got 10 but, minutes you can you can but still you get yourself up and be at home. Jamal, my thing is Jamal, you sitting here living rent free and you sitting on um panels with Sir Sean in Box Eleven with one of the biggest storylines out right now. I'm gonna be matching, working my sex, team PK. You know, you had everything it was handed to you. You had you, like you had everything right there, like to propel into something. You had people vouching for you. People were ready to ride with you. But no, you pick up a Milan badge. Now you at my um the family meeting at Founders Day. And they get no you got Tay pushing you in the pushing platform. You have everything aligned for you to just really propel to, you know, be something bigger, something better. So first of all, he's young, so you got to give him time to even understand what he's. We're not going to keep using age to him. excuse. That's not an excuse. He's young and inexperienced. Okay, so you have to give that young man time to even process what he's being granted with in this moment. He, you're right, Coco. You know, the spotlight is on him. And these are opportunities that are being created, right? But maybe he's unable to process that right now. You gotta understand, he's from that Baltimore. Is, what, what, I mean, anyway. 
Okay. So we're gonna move on from that. Speaking of, and could you read this topic how you how you wrote it? Girl, you out. <laughs> uh.